Hey there, Nick up here, Maple Motors, Hendersonville, Tennessee. Today we got a 1970 Dodge Cornette. This is not a real super V car. Does have a 440 under the hood, aluminum radiator, power steering, power brakes. Pretty clean under the hood as well. We're gonna take it down the road, see what I can find. If there's something wrong with this ride, you'll know about it. Detailed pictures, financing, and shipping available at maplemotors.com. Also, we get new rides every Monday at 11 o'clock. We're going to get about 10 cars a week, and that's just on Mondays. No other day do I upload vehicles. Hit subscribe for daily content and sit back, relax, because it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we leave the lot, we place bets on the horn. Do you think the horn works on this one? It's a game we like to play here. You're coming across the dash. You do got a few little cracks on the way there. Arm rest on this side, showing signs of age. Back seat looks pretty good. Package tray, headliner. It's all in decent shape. Same with your visors. Let's go ahead and start her up. This one's still cold at the moment. Got a little shaky oil pressure gauge there. See the engine temperature still low. Coming across the dash, we'll try the blower motor there. And it is cutting on. The radio. Okay. It is working. The wipers. They're working fast too. You can stop them wherever you want. <laughs> Does have a light on for the brakes, but I think that's going to be this pedal falling down to the floor. It's not springing back up and it's not holding. Turn signals. Left side's blinking and right side is blinking on the dash. Gasoline. We need to go to the gas station right now, from what that gauge says. So let's hurry up here. Horn, what do we got? Joe place the bets. Nothing I can do is going to make this horn work right now. So let's go ahead, hit the road, see what you got. Okay. So that's like a little bit of an exhaust bracket rattle back here. I can hear it before we're taking off. Any noises or anything that I see, I'll let you know in this video. But again, we're heading straight to the gas station. We are, from what I see, low on fuel. We'll see if that gauge works. That'd be the next bet. Brakes don't feel bad as we're pulling out here. Ashtray was a little bit stiff. Down all right. Engine temperature's up to 180 now. Oil pressure's around 50. Steering's not too bad. Here we go, guys. Finally, some open road. It is four o'clock. I did expect a little bit of traffic out here. down the road pretty smooth straight as an arrow tight steering nobody's behind me getting into the brakes here stopping fast getting into the throttle now speedo seems pretty accurate
The exhaust kind of quieting down as we were riding down the road, but when you're sitting still, you can hear it in the back doing a little bit of chattering. Again, I do think it's a bracket rubbing against the frame or some kind of metal in the back because it's echoey through the trunk. But so far, so good. This is a good running and driving car. Everything's checking out. Now we're gonna get some fuel. About $25 worth of premium fuel in this ride. And then we're gonna be getting some undercarriage shots, having a little bit of fun out here, driving by the camera, checking everything else out. Guys, stick around, I'll be right back. That's that rattle. Okay, $25 worth of fuel in this ride. Actually $27, got us five gallons, so here we go. Now we're gonna see if the gauge is true. I'm gonna turn the key on first. And it's not even trying to move. Look like a newer tank under there too. All right. Now we're gonna take off, get some undercarriage shots and end with a picking out the flaws segment. Okay, here we go. Let's take off, guys. Somebody said something about turning radius. This one's pretty good. Of course, you got any ideas to make this video better, let me know down in the description. I may use them in one of the videos or continue to use them. 
but it is a one man job here so i don't have two people out normally testing these cars out Really, it's pretty quiet going down the road. And the suspension's been really smooth. I haven't hardly felt any of the bumps. There's a bridge coming up here. Kind of listen for that. Just nothing. Nice and smooth. Got the over the shoulder belts as well up on the ceiling there on both sides. It is around five o'clock, guys, so we do got heavy traffic at the moment. We're gonna be right into the lot in two seconds. I hope you enjoyed this video. We're gonna skip over to picking out the flaws now. And again, don't forget to subscribe and look below in the description. Thank you. I'll see you later. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here. We're gonna walk around the whole ride. Anything I see, I'll let you know. I ended up finding that uh, other hubcat under this seat over here. So I went ahead and put it back on. Detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. Let's get close, see what we can find. Trim up here's got a slight amount of overspray on it. Just a little and that can be cleaned up. Here in the nose, you got some chips. Up here in the front, you got some chips on the underside. Couple there as well, underneath the grill. Tires are in great shape on this one. Wheels look good up and over the fender here. Looks like a couple little spots in the paint, little dimples. Down here at the bottom, you got some chips on the edge of that door. Something like tar there on the car. A couple uh, wax left over, little spots of wax left over. Light scratch here on the door. Bubbles in the corner here. Back that midsection. Some little texture in the paint. I've seen it, it's like chemical peel. Door handle there, it's got a little bit of pitting on it. Missing an emblem there. 
back over the top little spot here on the uh, in the middle chips there in a the corner front window all the trim around it looks pretty good I don't see any chips seal looks good as well your mirror there has got some pitting vent window and the seal in good shape scuffs up here in the corner a little extra wax left over there your back window light scratches in the middle Let's see if y'all can see them around this top which is in good shape filling for any kind of bubbles and then uh, it feels pretty solid it looks really good coming up on the back end here dual exhaust newer bumper i'd say they put new front and rear the front just had a little bit of overspray probably touch-ups under the hood You got some chips around your trim back here. A little bit of pitting. Your jam looks pretty good. Seals look good. A little chip there. Got some bubbles popping up under here. Looks like they put some paint over it. The way they painted it. Light surface rust over here. Get over your package tray. Some bubbles up there. A little rust here. mad up we'll put it back inside real quick i'm not gonna straighten it out right now i'll do that when i get back get around in the trunk lid pretty solid coming on down touch up mark there On the back here too. It's a little close over here, don't it? Coming down this side, lower portion. Tires in good shape, up and over. got some rust bubbles at the bottom of the panel here chips right there corner of the door a couple chips at the bottom been touched up a little chip here it's a dent here in the front missing emblem on this side probably just from where they uh, put the super B sticker kit on here the paint's really soft up here a little bit of overspray down here smooth you can feel the thickness on the wax the chip there I'm checking all these little specks on it making sure they're not chips door handles in good shape marker likes a little dirty there scuff in the back corner
Got chips here. You got some scuffs up here on this back window. Around the seal looks good there. Trim looks good. A scuff here, cracks up on top. Also in the corner here. Front windshield looks great. And while we're here, around the trim, up your pillar. Yeah, this top looks pretty good, guys. I don't see any kind of bumps, any rust, any signs of rust around it. Good deal. Coming down the top of this fender. Chip right there. All right, let's go ahead and check out the interior again and get her started up. I said on the door panel on this one it looks good your armrest has had some repair your seals good around the door and down by the bottom of the door up in your jams your trim down here it's got some dense light scratches carpet in this one looks awesome guys it's in really good shape you straightened out there in the corner seat itself also in great shape i don't see any tears or rips same with the back seat and of course your panels package tray and that headliner there The dash pad is cracked up in here and painted over. Probably faded. Motor's pretty mild. Runs good. Passenger door armrest is also messed up. get seat belts in here all right let's jump out listen to that motor Chips under the side of the hood there, it's still solid. There's a hole right here. Okay. Spot there on the nose. Coming down with it, got a good spring, and it's locked. Hood on this one, chip there. Touch up mark. Edge right here has got a chip as well. popping up right there and I think that's gonna be it guys I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit subscribe share also hit like that helps me out 
keeps me making these for you. Hunter Detail Fix, your financing and shipping at maplemotors.com. And every Monday, we update with new cars, about 10 cars a week. You can also look below in the description. We got some new shirts coming out. Hopefully, I'll have them out by the time this video comes up or not too long after. And thank you. I'll see you later.